Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Torah teacher Ariel, where every few days we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture together as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. Hey, did you know that the Feasts of the Lord are actually elaborate dramas portraying the life and ministry of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah? And that as Jews and Gentiles participate in them, the Holy Spirit can actually utilize this involvement to reveal the Savior of the world to them? Take a look at this passage from Leviticus with me, and I'll show you something that is often overlooked. Leviticus 23, 1 and 2 from David Stern's Complete Jewish Bible reads, Adonai said to Moshe, Tell the people of Israel the designated times of Adonai, which you are to proclaim as holy convocations, are my designated times. Firstly, we should instantly notice that God calls these holy days my designated times. They are God's holy days. Yes, they were given to Israel to walk in, but that does not automatically make them somehow exclusively Jewish. Simply put, if God is your God, and if Jesus is your Lord, then these holy days were given for you to participate in. Secondly, in both Biblical and modern Hebrew, the word for appointment is moed, translated as designated times in Stern's translation above. Interestingly, the root of the related word mikra, translated as convocations by Stern, is kara, and this word can actually convey the sense of rehearsal. I like to think that in this way, God masterfully designed his holy days to act as sort of dress rehearsals for his children. Of what, you might ask? The feasts of Adonai are dress rehearsals of messianic redemption. Our Lord Yeshua has literally and prophetically fulfilled the first four of the seven feasts mentioned in Leviticus 23. It is my belief that the Torah teaches that he will likewise literally and prophetically fulfill the final three at a soon-to-be second arrival. The takeaway from today's short teaching is this. As the children of Abraham willingly and faithfully rehearsed the messianic truths of God's yearly cycle of holy days, the Spirit of the Holy One graciously opened their hearts to understand that as he his treasured possession, they were responsible to actively pursue a genuine, personal, loving relationship with their Heavenly Abba. It is this type of personal relationship that Hashem, God, has always desired from the nation of Israel. And through the grace poured out to Israel, the surrounding Gentile nations might also see the goodness and mercy of Adonai and seek to become one of his treasured possessions as well. Read Deuteronomy 4, 5 through 8. Today, our covenant responsibilities to our God have not changed any more than the covenants made with his treasured people have changed. He is our God, and we are his people.